Hey, what's going on guys? Hayden here, also known as Zibs. Um, and today we'll be showing you a plugin I have recently found. And this plugin is a unknown plugin, I would say. And you could use this for a lot of cool things. So, I'm going to show you some few examples first, and then I'll show you how to use it. Um, and then, if you wanted to get it, I'll tell you the, the plugin is called Topaz Clean. You can search on YouTube or wherever and get it. Um, so... This plugin is kind of like oil paint, but makes it look a lot nicer. So as you can see here, hold on, let me get this picture opened up, but I'm going to get the original picture of it to show you a comparison of what each one looks like, or I mean the difference between them. So, oops. so if I duplicate this, bring it over here. Now, as you can see, here's the normal version. When I uncheck it and check it, it makes a, like a, not an oil paint effect, but kinda, it's hard to explain, but it makes a very cool effect. And you get this with COD images. Now, I'm gonna just show you some other examples. Here's another picture of, this one's in the mountains. And then this one's kinda cool, uh, with the trees and then these. So it makes like, these very curvy lines, cause oil paint, it does this, but it doesn't do it very well, I'd say. Here is a COD picture. This is a uh, a different effect, because there's different effects in this plugin. This is just one of them. And then here's another one. It kind of has that cool effect. Uh, but yeah, you could like do what most people do, is add some things here, some flowers, some things like that. And then here's another one of the lake. This one is a different effect. But there's some examples. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to use them. So let me just quickly get an image open. I am going to probably just get a COD pick since that's what most of you guys are probably gonna be using it for. So here's one, I guess. So I'm just gonna bring it into here, my, my workspace, I should say. And once you have your picture, um, I guess just duplicate it. You don't have to, it's just kinda if you don't like it or something, go filter. Once you've installed the plugin, make sure it works. Go filter. It'll be right here. Magical looks, all that, if you have that. Go Topaz Labs, Topaz Clean 3, dot, dot, dot. And then you're not going to notice this window here. So I'm just going to make it bigger. So. Process. Okay, so. As, as you're going to see here, um, you're going to see this space there's some effects and then there's here I'm just gonna zoom out really fast so what this is is we're gonna start with going through each one and I'll explain what they do so well, I'm zooming out so you can get the full image which means it's gonna take longer to process so just keep that in mind I think I zoomed out too much whoops Oops. Next. so we're gonna wait for that to finish processing but this plugin is a very useful plugin for all you 2D designers out there. Um, it brings a unique effect. So, okay, there. I think this is when it'll be done processing. Okay, so, as you can see, Cartooned is a very cool effect. It had it bring it makes everything look all cartoony. Um, you could also, if I bring down the strength, the less it's gonna look all cartoony and like this. Um, so. Let's just stick with three, and then threshold, if I bring it all the way to the, it's kind of like blur, kind of, it's hard to explain what it is, um, but if I bring it all the way to the left, it's going to, it's going to remove the effect, so you kind of want to have it over here a little bit, just for cartoon though. So, cartoon is kind of weird, you, you want to just find that right spot when it comes to it, because you don't want to have it too blurry, but you don't want to have it where there's not many, uh, it doesn't really have the effect that much, so... Uh, I'm just gonna find a nice spot, so we're gonna go with 0 0.50. Um, let's see. This looks good. So as you can see, it has a nice cartoon look to it, and then radius. Radius is kind of weird. I mean, it doesn't really do much. Like, I've done. I mean, it's kind of up to you. I, I I don't know. I'm just gonna have it in the middle just cause, but it's got a process. Okay, cool. So, that's the first effect. I'm just gonna 
push OK so you can see the full thing when it's done processing. Now this plugin is very unknown. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use this plugin besides one other person, which is where I found this plugin from. Um, so this is an unknown plugin, which means it has potential to make cool things that people haven't seen yet. So keep that in mind when you get this plugin. So there. So as you can see, since I duplicated it, you can see the before and after. This is one effect. It's pretty cool. I think it looks really cool. Um, it kind of just removes all the texture, so it's just, um, there's no shading or anything, just kind of colored in as if you drew it, and then added like a cartoon effect to it. So I'm just going to duplicate this again, and then let's do a different effect. So Tobuza was clean. Uh, crispy style, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like the cartoon style, but a little less. I'm not going to do it, because, I mean, it doesn't make too much of a difference. This one is kind of the your typical oil paint so I'm just going to work with this I guess undo it once so you can see more whoops wrong effect okay so let's zoom out once just let that process awesome so it's the same concept here strength the more strength you have the stronger it's gonna be obviously and the less the less it's gonna have you don't wanna have too much but you don't wanna have too less you just wanna find that right spot or else it's just gonna kind of ruin the whole thing. Um, I personally don't like it this high. I usually like it to be at six, six or seven, because I, I don't know, I'm just a fan of the way that looks. Um, but let's process that. So yeah, I like something like this. It has a nice oil paint. It's like a mix of cartoon and oil paint, and the threshold, same thing. I'm just gonna bring it up a bit. <clears throat> see what it looks like now if you have a bees computer it's gonna probably obviously take less time to process but as you can see as I was saying earlier the more threshold you have the blurrier it's gonna get that's why you want to have that sweet spot so I'm just gonna go with 0 0.50 or 0 0.49 whatever and we're just gonna let the process again so I like the way that looks uh, I actually might Bring it down a little bit less. It's like a mix of the cartoon with the curves. It's kind of cool. <laughs> you know what this well, game reminds me of? The Grand Theft Auto 4. If you ever played that game, the loading screen. It kind of has this effect to it. But I'm going to have it 0 0.29, and I'm going to keep the radius theme since it really doesn't do much for changes. So here's another effect. Uh, the Curly Smooth. And then the degrunge flat style and skin even they really it's kind of weird the way they are uh, mo if I was I'm just guessing most people are gonna be using uh, the next one I'm about to show you here's a before and after looks pretty cool um, but yeah you can make some cool banners with this so I'm just gonna duplicate this again for the final part I'm gonna be showing you or the final effect uh, which is gonna be stylized details now, stylized details is a really cool effect. Um, I'm going to show you a text that you could do with this, too. It's kind of, it's a lot like Curly Smooth, but it's a little different. Um, but there's less uh, white lines, and it's less smeared. But I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to show you what this effect can do on when, with text. So I did it a couple times before. It's really cool. But there's that. Here's a before and after. As, as from the other one this one has a, lo a little bit more texture into it it doesn't like completely just like wreck all the textures so hold on. let me show you so I mean this one it just wrecks all the textures and this one there's still textures but it's very very limited and this one has more textures into it so I'm just gonna get some more text here not mo text, I mean just text. I'm so used to Cinema 40. <laughs> I'm just gonna get Zebs, I guess. Uh, let's go 500. Here, I'll just quickly get something like this. So, with this, I'm just going to go filter, Topaz Labs, clean, obviously. And make sure your thing is rasterized. Forgot to do that, but if you don't know how to rasterize, just right click and go rasterize type. And go into your stylized thing. 
just click OK. Oops, wait. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I get. I thought it automatically did it for me, but I guess not. So Topaz Clean. Wait. Hold on. Filter. Topaz Clean. Sorry if you hear the background noise. Weird. Anyway, it's not working. Um, but I guess I will show if I can find a picture of what the effect looks like. I'll show you. But all you have to do is go get your rasterized text or whatever. Go filter, Topaz Labs, clean, and then go into your stylized details, and then it'll make this cool effect. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, this one was kind of of an unusual one, but. It shows you a very nice plugin for all you two designers uh, with the Call of Duty picture banners that you guys like to do. I guess that's the new thing. I'm personally not a fan of them, but a lot of people are, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll show them this plugin. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I, I guess you could say kind of like a review slash tutorial. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice plugin if you want. If you want it, get it. If you don't, then I'm sorry that I wasted your time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for the third time. I'm Zebs, and I'm out. Peace.